What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, DC, too cool, back again for another video. Today's topic is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And, you know, this game, it looks, the graphic looks great and everything. Um, since they've been on next gen, it, it looked really good. Advanced Warfare looked great as well. Um, there's no surprise there. Um, I feel like people are being overly critical of this game. I mean, the thing about Call of Duty is it's always been an arcade shooter. It's always been a, a game that's for the casual, for the mainstream market. Sure, some core gamers can play it too, you know, just have fun and everything, or even be really good in the game and play it competitively. That's fine. But at the end of the day, if you want to talk about true competitive gaming as far as a shooter goes, or as far as simulation of a shooter game goes, of military simulation, you gotta go to Battlefield. Battlefield is, is as close to military simulation as you can get. There's things in Call of Duty that are just fantasy and some things that are lacking that the series has never gave in years. Number one, vehicles. They have never put vehicles uh, in multiplayer, uh, which is ridiculous, in 2016. Uh, when you have th you know three different developers making three different Call of Duty, good, uh, yeah, three different Call of Duty games, that's ridiculous. They're stuck in environments, not not there, you know. Uh, these these are features that are standard in a simulation or a realistic style of game. Um, I mean, if you play the campaign mode, for example, you're if you're pinned down by some uh, the opposite, the opposing uh, team or faction, or whatever, you know. They have infinite bullets. They never reload. Never reload their guns. You know, never seen them run out of grenades. That type of thing. You know, these are you know elements of Call of Duty that have been fantasy for years. And they've never fixed, never adjusted. You know, whatever the case may be. Um, but I mean, I know a lot of people were tired of playing. You know, the old school style of uh, Call of Duty. You know, or you know, because since the inception of Call of Duty One, Two, and Three, pretty much you know the old school style. Um, you know, the old World Wars. You know. And everything. So, um, we brought out Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, which was, you know, the everyday Modern Warfare, obviously. The tagline says it all. Um, you know, that was on Next Gen. It was popular. It was Modern Warfare uh, for the first time. And it got a lot of people into Call of Duty. Um, came out Modern Warfare 2. I pretty much played them all except for Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 uh, and Advanced Warfare. The only ones I didn't play. But I don't know, man. I think that people are tripping for no reason. Just don't buy this year's Call of Duty. It's as simple as that. You got plenty of other ones to play. It's not like the servers are going down anytime soon. So, yeah. I feel like it's one of those situations where, you know, damn if you do, damn if you don't. People say they want something different. People just say they want something, you know, fresh, new, engaging. They give them something different. They switch it up. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. Okay, well, what do you want? You had old school. You had modern. Now you got future and you're still upset. Like, it is what it is, man. I don't know. Don't really bother me now. I'm willing to try any Call of Duty, you know, as long as, you know, it's fun, whatever. So that's it for me. Catch you guys later. Peace.